Welcome, welcome YouTube family to the Stocks with Josh show. Today is round two of hot stocks and cryptos. I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of some fundamentals and the factors driving price action. We're gonna look at the charts, support, resistance, and give some future price predictions. I'm gonna start off with number one, Tesla. We've been covering Tesla quite a bit, but it's a hot stock, so I think it's helpful. My prediction yesterday on Tesla proved correct. I told everybody that the 20830 resistance had to become support for Tesla to move higher. In addition, I warned that if it sold off below that by the end of the day, that was a critical level and that it would likely fall harder, and that's exactly what we saw. Tesla is very likely to hit $194, maybe even today, and give a little bounce and drift higher to the close. For those who are day trading or swing trading, 194 would be the spot to potentially take a position. If Tesla does not bounce at 194, then the next serious level of support, which I've also given you guys before, is 186. This move down is pure profit taking. It didn't do this because of a news story or a failure on the part of Tesla. It's just the fact that Tesla has run up over 100% in just one month and the bulls have paused to take a breath. So let me give you guys the next prediction. Between now and I think the end of this month, if we fall all the way back to $186, then it's very possible that the higher ranges that I gave yesterday are not possible. But we could go back and retest 208 before we get a bigger rejection. I gave you guys that range weeks ago as a max top, and it's proving right now to be the max top. But since we have this big Tesla investor day ahead of us, I'm treating it like an a earnings event, a swing trade earnings event. I could see us ramping back up and taking another shot at that 208 in the days leading up to the event. Now I've got nine more quick technicals coming at you guys in this video of some of your favorite picks. Thank you guys for hitting the like, the subscribe, and hit the all notifications on the YouTube bell to receive daily stock and crypto updates. Number two by popular request is Facebook Meta. Facebook Meta has also been on a heater. These guys, of course, own Instagram and WhatsApp, and they reported $32 billion of revenue in their fourth quarter. The stock jumped over $30. Everybody had been sleeping on Facebook, but not the stock Josh fam, because I had called it a buy on my page at $88 back in early October. And I wrote it back up to around the $118 range, and I got out, I got out too early. But it continued to go higher and higher, reaching the stars to $197 in recent days. That was a greater than 120% run-up. Meta is the world's largest social media company, and at $88, it had been significantly oversold. The stock jumped because they cut their cost outlook for 2023 by $5 billion, and they announced that they were gonna do $40 billion in a share buyback program. And just like when it was oversold, and I called it a buy, it is clearly now overbought at a high of 86% on the RSI on Thursday, February 2nd. And I have to call it a hard sell. Let's get into the support and resistance. It's sitting on support at $176. Then support below is $165 and then $145. It's the $145 level that I personally find interesting. Meta has a consensus rating of strong buy from the analysts that cover it, which based on 33 buy ratings, five hold ratings and two sell ratings. They have a median target of $210 with a high estimate of $275 and a low estimate of $80. I personally am calling it a sell until the price becomes more attractive. Number three is going to be a quick recap of the small cap stock verb. No buy or sell signal based on volume. No interesting news. It's been bleeding off. I've recommended a stop loss at the 16 cent range because after 165, the next support is 10 cents. The 0.165 price is also right at the 50 day moving average. For Verb to become bullish, we need to see it jump back above 21 cents. And until that happens, it isn't interesting. Number four, small cap, WVE. Now I wanna look closely at the chart for this one. I predicted that we would move to the top of the channel and then come back and test the bottom of the channel. And that's what happened today. Now it seems to have broken below the bottom of the channel, which is bearish. If it closes below $4.40 today, the trade in my view has ended because we've lost momentum. I got kicked out at $4.38. If volume picked up and the day or after hours trading closed back above $4.56, then it would be a strong buy signal. 
WVE is right on the fence with a trade quality of 50-50. Had to get out of the sun, it was just too bright. Okay, we're in an area where there's some great art, some graffiti. Not quite like Chicago, where the graffiti looks a little different. This looks a little bit more like art, but I'm gonna be walking down this alley here. Our next stock is going to be the small cap SBET, it's S-B-E-T. This is an online gambling play. I was lucky recently when it had a short squeeze up to $1.10. Now, I had about 5,000 shares on an average price, somewhere between 60 cents and 70 cents in a couple different accounts. So I was able to get out with a profit. But what are the technicals telling us today? Critical support is at 67 cents. If it stays above 67 cents, in my view, it's alive. If it falls below, it may be dead. SBET has a negative PE of a $2.06 a share, which means that these guys don't make money and they're at risk of bankruptcy in a bad recession. When swing trading stocks like SBET, you may have to make sure that your capital is protected by using a stop loss. Number six, I'm gonna cover by popular request is NEO. NEO has not performed well in the last month when most other EVs were breaking the stratosphere. If smart money liked NEO, it should have gotten to at least $20 by the end of January, but we only saw it hit $13.22 briefly, and then it quickly sold back down. You have to ask yourself, how low could this possibly go if these markets retested the October lows? Having said that, it seems to have held up well around the $10 range. The next FIB support for NEO is at $9.50. Beneath $9.50, the next support is $8.60. Dogs barking, some places too much sun. All right, back to NEO. I don't own any NEO. I'm not terribly bearish on it though. It could be a comeback story, but in my opinion, it needs to hold $9.50 to stay interesting. If it breaks $8.60, I would have to change my rating to a sell. Number seven, let's do SQQQ. The SQ has been flying high today as the rest of big tech has been cooling off. But how long will that last? How long will it climb? Now I told everybody when I bought at 32 and $33, that was the safe entry. I told you guys I set my stop loss and since then I've brought it all the way up to $35. It was hard to buy when the markets looked like they were gonna be endlessly climbing, Tesla breaking new levels of resistance, but that's what you have to do. You have to buy when there's blood in the streets. Now I'm sitting up in profit today, thousands of dollars. I have my stop loss, like I said, set at $35 very conservatively. 37.51 was a fib resistance and it hit that level today and it sold back beneath it the next level of resistance above is at 39 and 41. what i do is i enter an sqqq put when we get to those levels of resistance and i continue to hold my shares that is advanced hedging for some of you guys so do not do that unless you know exactly what you're doing as well as have the ability to sit at your computer and watch the timing of the play how high can SQQQ go right now? If these markets go back to test the October lows, it could actually go easily back above $60. Now I'm gonna repeat something that I said yesterday. Despite the pullback we, that we've had and that we enjoyed today, the micro trend, believe it or not, is still bullish and the macro trend is bearish. So you have to use a stop loss if you're gonna play the SQ because the markets are just cooling off right now. If they found support at 4,000, they could just skyrocket back up. All right, number eight, Bitcoin. Now I could talk for hours about Bitcoin. The charts are saying a lot to me right now, but I'm gonna keep it very simple today. Bitcoin could easily find support at around 21,500 where it's sitting right now. What it ultimately needs to do to remain bullish is to bounce off the 50 day moving average. If Bitcoin consolidates around 21,500, it could eventually meet up with the 50 and find the volume and the momentum to continue to move up from there. Even though Bitcoin has pulled back, that doesn't mean that the current run is over. Now, I told you when I last talked about Bitcoin that it was going to go back below 22K soon and that you guys would have another opportunity to buy. Ultimately, I see Bitcoin support at around 19,000. The bears are gonna be growling, telling everybody that it's on its way back to 12K. Now, I really do not see that happening. Big money, in my opinion, has gotten behind the next move up in Bitcoin, blockchain, and the altcoins. The winter is over and the bottom is behind us, and we're gonna see a slow climb over the next year back to 48K. When we eventually hit 48K, I think we're gonna pull all the way back to 32K. That is my Bitcoin price prediction for today, but as I say, we shall see. 
Number nine, let's cover ETH while we're in crypto. ETH also has cooled off and it's going to come back and probably bounce off of its 50 day moving average, which it looks like that's gonna be around 1430. That's gonna be your price for a bounce. I have sold and swing traded my swing ETH up above at 1600 and that's the third time that I have successfully bought at around 1200 or below and sold around 1600 or above. Let's talk about that for a minute. I try to make daily videos on stocks and crypto and I try to answer questions in the comments. I answer more questions over on the Moomoo chat group. If you don't have the Moomoo app, click the link in the top pinned comment and open and fund an account to get 15 free stocks. That's what they're currently offering. Get better tools to trade, like their eight smart order types. But also, you can then come find my chat group on the app called Stock Josh Fam. It's not hard, there's a little circle in the top right corner when you have the app open. It's got three dots in it. You select that, you select the tab chat, and then you search Stock Josh Fam, and then you can join. You're only going to see at the beginning the history of the chat after you join. I try to get on in the mornings to answer questions, but if I'm not on, there are a ton of people there who are very helpful. A lot of guys and gals who are answering questions for new traders very graciously. Let's get back to it. Number 10, VFC. VFC is a long-term retirement investment stock for me. It's beat down and I believe in 2024, 2025, it's gonna be back above $60. I'm accumulating weekly while it's beneath $30 so that I can sell covered calls on it. Having said that, I gave a 21 to $22 price target as an entry for a swing trade. It's sitting right beneath support right now and it seems to be struggling. So my guess is that it's about to get cheaper, which works for my accumulation plan. I will buy a thousand shares of it when it gets to $22 or below. Then when it gets back to $60, I'm gonna be close to 200% up. That's my basic plan. But this is not a suggestion for you guys to buy, sell, or hold. As always, don't forget that there are scammers in the comments section. They use my name and my picture. They try to get you guys to contact them on WhatsApp and Telegram. I wanna give you guys a quick update on my schedule over the course of the next 10 days. I'm gonna be out of the country. I'm not gonna be on vacation. I'm gonna be heading to Peru to help my father-in-law move back to the US. He is basically playing the end game of life and he needs to be closer to his children. My wife and I are gonna be helping him get situated and uh, we're gonna be taking each day at a time with him. I'm gonna be making videos though while I'm traveling, but if I miss a day or two, please, have understanding. If you guys enjoyed the technicals today, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe to keep getting these stock and crypto updates. As always, my friends, I wish you all great success in your trades. Peace and blessings. See you in the chat.